Hello friends, welcome to the stream today. Kalina here of Story Retold. Happy National Video Games Day, which I don't know who is in charge of making these wacky holidays, but it's National Video Games Day. In my opinion, every day should be a video games day, but that's just me. What are your guys' uh, favorite video games? Um, Maybe a classic one, maybe one from your childhood, maybe one that you're playing right now. Um, but in honor of National Video Games Day, uh, this is a sponsored stream. So everyone say thank you, Her Interactive, for the sponsorship today. Uh, shout out to them. Everyone type Gaming22 in chat. Gaming22, one word. Um, if you use that promo code at herinteractive.com, you get 50 percent off any game there today only because it's national video game day so make sure to head over there and if you've got all the nancy drew games already it's a good idea in my opinion to gift someone a game uh because i think everybody should be playing nancy drew games but that's just my opinion too i've got lots of opinions today um something else they have um, a couple of other games on their site mist if you have not played mist highly recommend it it came out before the Nancy Drew games. Same mystery adventure genre. Um, very little characters, though. But it's very puzzle-heavy. It's a great game. Shall we get into playing our game here? Is it this one? There it is! Hello, familiar faces! Gabrielle, Irish girl, Kelly Montgomery, Dick Orson. Is it Warsham or Warsham? Uh... Okay, it's Lufisera. How are you doing? Is it late where you're at? I'm always forgetful of your time zone, what time it is. I know you're always awake at weird times to watch me play, and I appreciate it, friend. It's always good to see you. Um, I don't remember anything. Where are my notes? See, I'm always... Mm, I'm always missing my notes. I've got a very special notebook for all these things, though, too. Um, for everyone in chat who last week... I think I fixed the quotes too, by the way. Um, anyways, any of you, for any of you who asked for a letter, um, I'm still working on them. Nobody has, I have not shipped out any letters to anybody just yet. But um, let me just say that like two or three of them are drying. They're drying, getting dried back here. <laughs> I wrote you a letter in lemon juice. Um, so I'll let you guys, guys know when uh, it's on its way via the source that you messaged me on. So if you messaged me on email or on Instagram or on Twitter, I will let you know then that I'm sending out your letter. So keep an eye out for it. Um, it might take a while. This is uh, uh, for anyone who asked of it last week. I don't know if I'll be able to get to everyone, everyone, anyone who asks this week. It's morning where you're at. It's Lefestra 8. Oh, that's not bad. Nerdy Geek Gamer, I've been wanting to play that game. Disney Dreamlight Valley. What do I need to do? Find out who Louis G is. Okay, let's call that number. I love it when we pick up like random numbers and just decide to call them and pretend, hey, yeah, yeah, I know the person you're in contact with. Oh yeah, no, we're great friends. Um, Tell me everything. <laughs> State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. Oh. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? Welcome to the stream, Deb. Glad to have you. Um, are you have you ever seen these Nancy Drew games before? Have you ever played them before? I'm asking you a million questions because I want to introduce ourselves. Um, I used to work at Her Interactive for ten years, uh, and then tested the games for like another five before that, or five seven years before that. I don't remember. So this is this is just nostalgic for me. I didn't work on this game, but I did test it. No, I did not test it. Never mind. I just love this game. I'm not sure yet. Would you happen to know what prison he was in? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? 
Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Who else did we need to call? Okay, well, she checked it off this list, so that's great. Uh, see if anyone knows the answer to Miles' first riddle. We need to ask around, find the key to the hidden door, keep checking email. Let Paula Santos know that Harlan, Harlan did die. <laughs> Tattletale! My goodness. That's a good question, Detective Gal. What snacks do you all have tonight? Um, I've got kettle corn. I went to the fair this last weekend, and I did ride a carousel, and I took pictures, and it was awesome. Oh, I should be promoting my own stuff, though, too. I'll do that later. Uh, ask around about the device. I think I asked Ingrid about it, so I should, you know, I should go around and talk to everyone. I need to call Bess and George. Oh, we could call the Hardy Boys. Distraction. Diversion. You just ate dinner, Irish girl? No Hello? snacks? Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. Frank, phone, it's Nancy. How's it going? Well, I haven't solved the case yet. Great. Uh, I mean, oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Kate, that sounds amazing. I might have that tonight, too. Uh, oh, my God. Good news. Somebody activated the roll. <laughs> Good news. Somebody tried to kill me. Good news. Somebody activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks and tried to kill me. Why, that's wonderful, Nancy. <laughs> Attempted murder never fails to boost my spirits either. No, it means that somebody I've talked to considers me a threat. And that means whoever's behind the mystery at Captain's Cove can only be one of four people. Irish girl, come to think of it, if you just ate dinner, it's, it, you know, snacks are for all times. And, I mean, if you're too full for a snack, that makes sense. But snacks are like all the time, in my opinion. Another opinion brought to you by Kalina here. Apparently, one of the people who was on the roller coaster when it suddenly stopped is claiming that his neck got injured and has filed a lawsuit. Well, boys and girls, can you say insurance fraud? In what if someone is making up a false claim? What if that was his plan all along? And what if someone in the park is in on the scheme with him? That person causes the accident, the guy sues, they split the settlement. New word, boys and girls, can you say motive? We're learning so many words, including suspects list. Hello, Brittany. Good to see you too, friend. How are you doing today? I love all the carousel horse emojis. Has either of you ever heard of a guy named Rolf Kessler? Rolf Kessler. The name is kind of familiar. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. Don't let him fool you, Nance. He's sitting at his computer madly typing Rolf Kessler into a search engine. Rolf Kessler carved carousel horses in the early part of the 20th century. Very eccentric. Said if anyone separated his horses once they were part of a carousel, bad luck would follow. Let me guess. That's who carved the carousel at Captain's Cove. Yes. So, it's bad luck to remove a horse. The, the, the amusement park that I went to this last weekend actually had two carousels. I didn't get to go to the antique one that was in a covered building. Uh, but I did get to go on a small one that was really fast, a little dizzying, but have any of you guys enjoyed a carousel ride anytime recently? You got it. I found a letter that he wrote but never mailed to his estranged wife, Amelia. He was eccentric, all right. So there might be something to this curse stuff after all. Frank, I'm shocked. You've always said there is no such thing as curses. What I mean is, whoever is responsible for these carousel hauntings obviously knew something about Kessler. He's the key, Nan. Kessler's the key. He's the key. Kessler's the key. I better get going. Call us anytime. Take care. Oh yeah, you went you went on a carousel horse a few years ago at Hershey Park, Katie? Nice. You know, it's just kind of a pleasant ride to take with the pretty music that is played. And look at the looking at the beautiful artwork of the horses. It's amazing. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's only me. Oh, hi, Nance. Listen to you. You're probably making Nancy feel terrible. Maybe mm -hmm. I should answer the phone from now on. You wouldn't dare. It's okay, guys. I understand. I'm sorry, Nancy. As you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet, and he is just so, so cute. cute. Anyway, what's up? 
Got anything on stenography for me yet? Still working on it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Catch you guys later. Hasta la vista. You're doing great. The source of encouragement. Okay. Well, let's go and talk to people. Let's start with Harlan. Oh, wait, should we call Paula first? Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. You just finished dinner too, Danielle? You'll have some dessert once the kids are in bed. Yes. Yes. I think I think you should also make chocolate chip cookies from scratch. And then share some with me. Does the phrase silvery remains of a four bit day ring any bells with you? Huh? Uh, never mind. Eh? That's his response? That's the shortest response I've ever heard. Eh? <laughs> Hello, Garbarino. How are you doing today? Good to see you again, friend. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Irish girl, not in recent years you haven't ridden, but when you were younger you couldn't walk by one without riding. Yeah, there is a carousel in... A nearby mall that we often often frequented we always had to walk past it we've rode it a few times we, we always had to walk past it and look at the pretty horses my sister really liked a black horse that had a beautiful big red rose on the romance side I really liked the one that was behind it it was less fancy but it was like this white horse with light brown mane and tail and it had a blue a light blue saddle with tiny little pink flowers dotted across it. It was lovely, and that one was my favorite. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. You did make monster cookies from scratch? Ooh, Danielle, thank you. Uh, what are these monster cookies? Do describe. I'm going to have to have dessert later, too. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Okay, let's call. Well, are we supposed to wait for Louis G to get back to us? Or call Paula now? Just a joy. Any luck with the riddle? I'm still working on it. Need something? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. You would love to visit the Mall of America, Nerdy Geek Gamer. Do they have a carousel in there? Surely they would. I know they've got some rides. <gasps> oh. Hello. Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Garbrino, you are well. Currently in the process of making apple turnovers with dried apples. <gasps> and getting stuff for your, up your upcoming wedding. Oh, congrats again. I don't remember if you told me about the wedding, but congrats. Uh, weddings have a lot of busy work. If, if you, you know, do a lot of the work. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in, ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. Hmm. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that. Thank you. So, Sapphire Dreams? You should be studying anatomy, but you saw me go live. I am, I am, I'm just so honored. But please, do indulge me with fun facts from anatomy that you think would be fun to share. Because I'm all for tr random fun trivia. If you happen to have anything on hand, you know, no pressure. But thanks for joining us. How is your, how is the rest of your, um... 
You're in class, right? Oh, this is a good question. How many people in chat um, are currently in school again? And how many people in chat are a parent of a student returning back to school? I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon, silvery, as in spoon, get it? That must be it. Thank you. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. Does anyone else have a riddle to share with Elliot? The only ones I remember are the ones from previous Nancy Drew games. What gets wetter the more it dries? The more you dry. A towel. Ah, uh, fun day, Sunday. Ah, uh, we've got a few preschooler parents in here. I sent my firstborn to preschool this last week. I went back to the car and I cried. Because <laughs> he's so little, but he... I felt, it felt wrong dropping him off with a stranger, but it was a very trusted stranger. I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. Amber, that totally counts. I mean, if any of you guys are teachers or um, child care educators, you know, Montessori workers, preschool, you know, whatever, if, if that totally counts as going back to school. It's school season. You're teaching. It's great. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do, let's see what else. Let's call Paula and be a tattletale. I'll be the blabbermouth instead of Miles. The less you have, the more Paula valuable Pappas. they are. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? Oh, that's a good one. I think I've heard this one before. Head of quantum. I don't remember what it is. The less you have, the more valuable they are. Oh, W.D. Macy, that's good, too. The riddles in the dark from The Hobbit, those were fun. That was really fun. What has many teeth but no mouth? A comb! I think. Sapphire Dreams, that's awesome. What can you tell me about the people working at the park during the shutdown? I frankly don't know any of my employees that well. I'm a very hands-off kind Years. of boss. I believe in hiring the best, then stepping aside and letting them do their best. Wait a minute. The less you... Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm still trying to solve Head of Quantum's an uh, riddle. But go ahead and give me the answer, Head of Quantum. Well, what are some of your general impressions? Hmm. Well, let's see. Ingrid Corey is extremely competent and has no problems managing the maintenance staff. Although... Well, don't stop there. Just continue. Although what? It's just that sometimes she goes off on these strange, new-agey type tangents and totally loses me. Anyway, there's Harlan Bishop, very conscientious. Elliot Chen, very talented, but a very slow worker. And Joy Trent, very, well, Joy is hard to describe. She doesn't seem to have a lot of self-confidence. She's the exact opposite of her father. I've yet to meet a man who was as terrific with people and as horrible with money as Daryl Trent was. He stayed afloat for 30 years on sheer charisma, I swear. Oh, interesting. JP Jim, and you love that carousel theme? I do too. It's so fun. Oh, you know, those both answers, years and friends, head of quantum to that riddle, that makes sense. That That's awesome. Uh... Let's see what else. Um, what happened to him? His bad investments caught up with breath. him. He sold everything he could, but still wound up drowning in debt. Till one day in bankruptcy court, he just keeled over and died of a heart attack. Well, that's sad. Kate, uh, you're light as a feather, but no one can hold you for very long. What are you? Breath. I like that. That's awesome. How sad. It was very sad. 
He was in way over his head, but there was nothing anybody could do. He would have just taken anyone who tried to help him down with him. That's too bad. There's this locked door in the haunted house that I'd really like to open. Would you by any chance know where the key is? I have no idea. You really shouldn't go in there unless it's absolutely necessary. Parts of that building are very old, almost rickety. You need to be very careful. Is it true that Captain's Cove is being sued by someone who got hurt in the roller coaster accident? The part about being sued is true, but I don't think the guy got hurt. I think he's just saying that so he can try <clears throat> to squeeze money out of our insurance company. Yeah, yeah, that could be the thing. When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. I think I just recognized her voice again. I always forget that Paula Santos is, I think she's the same voice actress as Simone Mueller and uh, Professor Hotchkiss? Or S Simone Mueller, really, from the final scene. I understand Joy's father used to come and go as he pleased even after he sold you his interest in Captain's Cove. I didn't see any harm. He loved to putter, especially in the haunted house. Wonderful imagination, but when it came to dealing with reality, barely knew where to begin. Got lots of riddles coming in. This is awesome. Um, yeah, what two things can you never eat at breakfast? Lunch and dinner. Unless you unless you really wanted to have like lunch food for breakfast, but it's it's about the time of the day. <laughs> Air works as well as breath, but I like breath better. I think it's it's if you're holding air that can actually count as like a I think there's a connotation with that being full of hot air. Like it means something different in, in the U.S. Cal X, this was the first Nancy Drew game you and your sister played. It's nostalgic. It's a great one. Is that your favorite? So here's a question. For those of you who have played any of the Nancy Drew games. Uh, yeah, Sally's from Ghost Dogs is too. That's her voice. Um, was the first Nancy Drew game you have played... For anyone in chat, your favorite one. I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. Uh, Cal X, what goes up and down but never side to side? Gravity? You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. Oh, hi, Jazz vs. Jazz. How are you doing? Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer. Operates the carousel. Real protective of it. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Mm. Loves the band organ, too. Right now, he's up in Canada fishing. I found some notes that were written in shorthand. Would you happen to know any stenographers? No. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever even met a stenographer. Now that we're in the computer age, stenography has pretty much become extinct. That's another lovely art form being lost to, to history. I'll be in touch. Good. Good. Bye. Mm. Okay. Um... We need to call Tink. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Lots of phone calls today. This is Tink. Sorry I'm busy fishing, which means you're going to have to call me back. Mm. I already left one message. No need to leave another. Fine. I don't remember that I did that. Okay, so we need to... We need to get a fun... Wait. Um... Do I have to talk to Joy first, or should we just investigate the, uh, silvery spoon with a fun day? Hotel operator, what do you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus it's one official fun day spoon spoon coming right, right up. Anything, anything else? else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. Saving you has been a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. 
So on the menu, it mentions, um, can we back up? No, we have to take it. Okay. On the menu, it mentions that there's bananas in this. I don't see any bananas here. I just see a wonderful uh, cherry on top of uh, whipped cream with a little seashell cookie. Could be a mandel madeline, but it's not the right shape as a madeline cookie. It'd be really cool if it was a crispy wafer or something. Do you guys remember watching um, any of the videos from Her Interactive's YouTube channel on making the fun day? This is so yummy looking. I hunted all over for actual parfait glasses that looks like this. Kind of hard to find these. Oh, that was so good. She ate all of it. Oh, the Captain's Cove New uh, Souvenir Spoon. Okay. Let's go see Joy. Uh -oh. Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Did you say Bayside State Prison? Yes, I did. To your knowledge, has he ever gone by any other name besides Harlan Bishop? No, ma'am. Have you seen him since he's been paroled? He comes to my office once a week. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. You guys made the fun... Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. It's locked. Oh, I, I, I muted myself. Oops, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What was I saying earlier? Nothing much important. Okay. Uh, it's locked. <laughs> So the so we learned that it was O seven two six. Yes. 
Snoop time. I want to snoop here. Call L.H. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Let's call him. L.H. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Smooth. Yeah, she called me. And what did you tell her? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> at least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, mm. speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Suspicious. Results, but we still don't know what the results were for. Whatever it was, it helped him out. Which is a conflict of interest. Let's snoop the bag. Wow, that's one expensive watch. $20,000 for a watch. One gold fountain blue watch. Oh, paid in cash. SW, huh? Oh, fancy. She likes shiny things. That's all we can look at. Which is too bad. I would have loved to have some more hot spots. But what else is really cool is that once you finally get to snoop this area without any anyone in here, we can initiate my very favorite Easter egg sequence in the entire series. Once you step up here, hover your mouse right over in this hot spot, this little bolt right here on the sign and click on it when it turns red. Hello? You have been chosen to be the lucky winner of a valuable prize, but first you must answer this very important question to win. I'm ready. What is the capital of Wisconsin? Type your answer onto the screen using your keyboard. And thanks to one of the designers, Robert Riedel, who spent a lot of time in Wisconsin because he went to school there for a duration. He put things like this into the game. Congratulations! Felicitations! Good job! For your efforts, wit, grace, and general aptitude, we are pleased to present you with a brand new Easter egg! Yay! We have an Easter egg. Now this is part one of the Easter egg sequence. Part two is when we have the opportunity to snoop through Elliot's place. And he's uh, still here. Okay. Okay, well, hang on. Let me save this back up here. Egg acquired. Just in case. Okay, uh, what else was on our actual to-do list? We needed to go back to... Let's check our email. Inbox here. Stenography info! Yay! I have played this so many times I've got it memorized. We go through the lessons. <clears throat> so this is, uh... It represents the sound I. It's a phonetic writing, so it's based on sounds. So this is the Z or S. S. A. Lower, small circles A. So S. A. I don't like this. Some words in stenography are read from top to bottom and some from left to right. So that is say. And then if you do it backwards, ace. Okay, got it. S and A. Uh, below are the words which contain silent letters. Below each word, type the letter that is not pronounced so that it could be written, so it would not be written in shorthand. So the Y. The silent E, 
and the W. We don't really say the W. Yeah, you take it, take it in short lessons here. I loved this because it was well paced. What time is it? I didn't catch the time. Okay, we got a little bit of time. Um, e is the small. E A C say. Got it. Shorthand for N. So N is short. M is long. N A N E N A N E. Okay, E is little. A is big. Got it. Okay, so this is, um, excuse me. So this is me. This is sane. Okay. This is mean. Okay. Name. Okay, so O is a hook here. S o, N O. So that's how they're attached. R, L. So this is what always threw me off. The size of the R and the L when they were when they were in writing, it was hard to tell if it was big or little. We're not on the Easter egg sequence because we don't have um, Elliot gone yet. I might have missed the opportunity. I don't know. does bring back memories. Lay low. Okay. Or sideways stroke. For the more fluid movement. Okay. Or ol. Okay. So this is M O L. And then this one, this middle one is S A a L Sail Neil, which is actually spelled with a K because that's silent. Okay. The ooh sound. Okay. Ooh is upside down. O and ooh. This is capitalized with the hash marks. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so many here. Okay, K and G are the upper strokes. K is the short one, G is the long one. The K sound, so K, U, L, make, okay, look, G, ghoul, glow, goals. Okay, so this is G L O R E E sound, which is yeah, and actually gives you good practice right there. Um, Jasmine Berg, you can't play this game anymore because you can only install it once. Um, you can reinstall it if you've saved the exe file, the installer file. You can redo it. You can reinstall it. You just need to save a copy of the exe file someplace, like on a thumb drive or somewhere in your documents or something. So this is G. G. What was the underscore again? Uh, is it? Oh, it's gray. Here we go. Please let that be it. Oh, concludes. Yay! Learning shorthand the quick way. Awesome. So, we can learn about that. Wait, did we learn? We learned Sassy Detective, right? Sassy 57. Yep, lemon juice on paper. It's invisible ink. Yep, that's right. We did read that. Okay, let's do... Hi, Sam. How are you doing today? I didn't... I didn't see you. Now I do. I see you now. Okay. Um, for those of you who are going to be receiving a letter that is blank, written in lemon juice, please note that when you use your iron, empty it of water. You do not need 
any water, any steam. It needs to be absolutely dry. And it needs to be like medium to medium hot. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Oh, you lost all the games since you got a new computer? Oh, that's too bad. You didn't wipe the old computer, did you? If you find the EXE files for the games, if they're there were the digital downloads, you can, you can copy them over. Uh, any, any of the Nancy Drew games, actually. If, they're, if they are a digital download, not the discs. Well, if you have the discs, you can reinstall it. If you've got um, a jump, or uh, an optical drive, a CD player. I need to turn the iron on. Okay, good to know. I did turn it off. <laughs> Let's go see. He's still here. Maybe I lost the opportunity to use the Easter egg. All right, what was I trying to do? Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to tink about this one. Tink. End of hint. Tink. <sighs> it's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. What would make this office a lot more happy? Well, we need a lot more light in here. It's super dark. We need a lamp, a nice lovely lamp over here. Um, maybe some, oh, you know, it'd be fun. You know, it'd be really fun. Um, bistro lights. If you know what those look like, I would hang like bistro lights all the way around the perimeter. That would make it feel like an amusement park office. That would be amazing. We need another, another, another we need another these boxes need to be unpacked we need some lovely seating areas over here with a, another lamp yeah and you know what would be make it really cool a little tiny fish tank keep up with the themes <laughs> that would be lovely okay uh, now we were going here Yeah, don't touch it. it. Says Tink. I wonder what goes on this spool. Music. Let's try calling him again. Danielle, you yeah, can play. Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Play yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? It's a long story. That's between me and Miss Santos, I'm afraid. How do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9... 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here in the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I gotta go! Uh, okay. Alright.
right. Let's get that roll. Sorry, eight, <laughs> eighteen, nine, thirty, nine. Let's see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. Can't click on any of the other ones. I want to listen to all this the music. This must be it. Oops. I remember Gumbo from Crystal Skull Calyx. Cal Calyx? Cal X? I actually um, tried Gumbo for the. F no, I tried it from a food truck. A Creole food truck. It was delicious. It was spicy. The take up Dow is broken. Well, bravo, Nancy, you're broken. Alright, let's go. You know, Ingrid Corey does have a lathe in her office. I'm surprised we don't get to use that one. Okay, let's go talk to Elliot. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Okay, he's gone. Now. Now. We do this. We snoop his box. Those look like horse tails. Acknowledge the horse tails. This is very important. And we're gonna leave. Go to the Midway Games. Um, over here, when you face the Prizomatic, there's another hidden hot spot that lights up right here on the post. Click it. This is Nancy. Hi, it's me. Hi, Nancy. Uh, how's it going? Uh, why are you calling? Well, I'm at Rose's right now in San Francisco, and I can't figure out where to find the key to the attic. Oh, that's easy. It's in the old cash register in the basement. Ah, okay, that'll help. You're awesome. No, you are awesome. <laughs> well, I gotta run. Got a case to solve, you know. Say hi to Charlie for me. Uh, will do. Good luck. Nanception. Yep, Nancy Inception. Nancy talking to herself in the past from game three. <laughs> I love this Easter egg. <laughs> that's it. That's the end of it. Yep. Now we can continue with our actual mystery solving. So he's fixing, he's matching the colors and the paint for the light. The seahorse light right here. Here and here. Like he's repairing it or something. All right, first. Oops. I can use this to measure. We measure where the indentations are. And it looks like it's two and a half inches. Oops, 2.5 inches. And then it's super thin until there. Um, uh, that's roughly half inch right here. And this is like a medium depth for about, a, I'd say, a very tiny amount. I don't know how long it's supposed to be. And then the rest of it's like that. Okay. So we measure that. And then we get some wood. Oh, yeah. Get some wood. A dowel. Wait. You know what we could also do now that he's not around? We can snoop his, his collector's hot sheet. Antique instruments, hot or not. This guy right here, I think... I could be wrong. It could, be, it could have been Mike Paganini. I don't remember. But it was a her interactive employee. <laughs> the amazing million dollar dolly. 
It's not a croc, it's a Turin. That's hmm, so funny. If Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Anton Sukov. Let's call him. Got a lot of numbers to call in here, but I do like that Nancy enters the information automatically. I don't have to push buttons. Steals magazine. Yes. Sukov? My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. Jasmine, yeah, I can turn down the game music. One moment. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Hmm. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're That's talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Hmm. The internet. It's capitalized. Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. Mental wealth, indeed. Is that supposed to be Amelia? Okay. Okay. Now we can get on with making... Uh, this. We can start with a little bit of fun. with a piece of wood in your eye? Several pieces, actually. But the doctors got most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Ooh. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. Yeah. You're off the case. Well, this is actually a really good spot to uh, save our game. And uh, call it a day. This is an excellent cliffhanger. Which one is this? Here we go. Got some music still playing. Anyways, I know that our time is almost up, and we will resume this next week. At the same time, my hair's all fuzzy. Don't forget that... Yeah, the music is loud. I still haven't turned it down yet. I'm sorry, Jasmine. Yeah, don't forget that you can get any of the games on her Directions website for 50% off today only. 
um, using promo code GAMING22 at checkout. Thanks, you guys, for joining us, and thank you, Her Interactive, for sponsoring this video. Ooh, I've seen a lathe work in real life. It's really cool. Anyways, have a good evening, y'all. Um, get yourself some snacks, food, d maybe dessert. I know, how dare I? It's so rude. Terrible. I kill Nancy all the time. She's not dead. She's just hurt. She's in the hospital. We're gonna let her sit there. All right. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you. Where's my... Where's the... What? Oh, okay. Anyways, bye!